If you're looking for a festive and fun drink for Easter brunch next weekend, Mike's Mix is full of ideas. Yeah, a couple of those recipes, in fact, can be made with stuff from just the grocery store. Because at Eat Street Social in Minneapolis, there are plenty of non-alcoholic brunch drinks on the menu. Well, people don't want to drink, you know, alcohol, but they want something um, that's made just for them, something that feels a little bit special, something mm -hmm. that looks nice, something that tastes great. So, you know, having a bigger NA program, you know, we get appeal to a, a wider audience. From cocktail snobs to beer geeks, cork dorks to non-drinkers, wide appeal with a focus on unique sums up the Eat Street social experience. This is pretty family oriented on Saturdays and Sundays. Chicken fried steak is a brunch menu mainstay there, but so are the classics, both food and drink. On the spirited side, try the mimosa alternative called Death in the Afternoon. This is basically a champagne cocktail okay. that's uh, absinthe heavy, a little bit herbaceous. The absinthe is very you know, anise forward. A full ounce of absinthe, a half ounce of simple syrup, an eyedropper of orange bitters from Bitter Cube, and a short shake. I will double strain my absinthe and my sugar diluted. And then top with bubbly. Six twists always. Whisper of a lady. Oh, wow, that's nice and complex. It changes with time as the, the absinthe sort of opens up. Yeah. And I'm not a huge Annis fan, but this, even this amount of absinthe, it's so well balanced that it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be. Bartender Nate McLemore Raskowski showed me a couple of NA options, including a simple tonic mocktail using tonic syrup like Minneapolis company Blue Hen makes. So just a little bit of bitters, um, the tonic syrup, and uh, soda water. Light and refreshing, but that tonic syrup is a lot better than the stuff you buy in the stores. There's also this coffee mocktail. Land of milk and honey. So uh, uh, we got a little bit of Don's honey. Mm -hmm. um, we have cream. We're doing a little bit of seltzer water and then cold pressed coffee as well with uh, some bitter cube blackstrap bitters. The honey, cream, and bitters get shaken over ice. Pour ice and all into a glass and then top with soda water and creamy nitro cold press. That cold press kind of like mm. sits on top nicely. This cold press is from Tiny Footprint, a local coffee company that donates some of its profits to help offset climate change. At home, you can use canned nitro cold press coffee. Reminds me of an egg cream yeah. for those who grew up in Brooklyn. Yep, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Refreshing yeah. kind of egg cream style, and then you get that nice smoke kind of bitterness from the uh, the cold press. And where's the vanilla flavor coming from? Because it does um, taste like vanilla. The honey is coming out a little bit there. Oh. Uh, there are still some tables left for Eat Street Social's Easter brunch weekend. We have a link to that, plus today's recipes posted at WCCO.com. And Rachel, you want that egg cream style? Yeah, I think I'm going to make a reservation just for that. Or you can just make it for me, right? I, I you will can make do it that for now. you, yes. All right, and you'll do the little handshake, I, too? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Good.